Hi, I'm Bree, a customer success manager here at Company Cam. Company Cam is a photo documentation solution for service contractors. No matter what industry you're in, roofing, restoration, HVAC, plumbing, landscaping, you name it, you can use our app to take photos and videos of the work you're doing. In this video, I'll give you a high level walkthrough of some of our most used and most loved features, but I won't cover all of them. So make sure to visit our help center after this to keep learning. Oh, and if you haven't already, go to companycam.com slash sign up to start your free trial today. After you create an account, it's time to add your users. Don't skip this step. You want to make sure all the photos your crew members are taking are uploaded to the same account. You can finally ditch emailing photos back and forth, searching endlessly in your camera roll, and storing photos in various places. Open the company cam app and tap users and groups. Tap invite new users and manually invite them or invite them from your contacts. If you manually invite them, add their information and they'll receive an email to complete their account setup. To invite them from your contacts, tap contacts from your list, then tap the send one invitation. Next, let's talk about creating projects. GPS location makes it quick and easy to start a project or jump into one you've previously created. Tap create project. If the suggested address is right, tap create. If it's not correct, type the address in the search box and select from the ones that populate. Give your project a name and tap create. Once the project is created, it's time to fill it with photos and videos. Tap the camera icon and choose your project. Take some photos. You can also take a video or you can upload photos from your camera roll if you already have them saved on your device. You know the saying, a picture is worth a thousand words? If that's true, then annotations and company cam are worth a million. They help give extra context to the photo or video, so even people not on the job site are in the know. Let's take a photo and let's add a comment. Use our little bubble icon and post it. You also have the option to mention other teammates on your account if you need to notify them of a photo. Lastly, you can use drawing tools to draw on your photos and point out any specific details for your team members to see. To make sure everyone is on the same page, create a to-do list. Once you're in the project that you want to make a list for, it's simple to start one. Make a to-do list, choose new to-do list, title your list, and tap create list. Tap add task to add your first item. You can choose if you want a photo required to complete the task, then tap to save the task. Create list templates for the list you use over and over again to save time and avoid repetitive work. Pull up an existing to-do list you want to save as a template, tap the three dot menu icon and save the to-do list as a template. Give the template a name and add a description. Click save template. The users added to your company cam account can always see your photos and projects but we know there are times that you want to share that content with people outside of your company too, whether that's with a client, a subcontractor, or insurance adjuster. So we've created timelines, galleries, and project collaboration. Project timelines give you the ability to keep homeowners updated on the progress happening at their home without any extra phone calls or tedious work on your end. Once you have the project created for the home or business you're at, copy the timeline link and paste it into an email or text message to let the customer see every photo happening at the project in real time. Once the link is shared, your work is done. They'll be able to reference that same link over and over to see photos roll in as they're being taken. And if you want to stop sharing progress photos with the customer, you have that option. Just disable the timeline link and they won't have access to it anymore. Or if there's just a photo or two that you don't want them to see, it's easy to hide them from the project timeline. Photo galleries, on the other hand, are perfect for sending a comprehensive recap of your work to a client. Plus, you get to choose which photos get shared so homeowners and insurance adjusters don't have to sift through duplicates or random shots. To create a gallery, just start selecting the photos you want to include, then click Share and Share Gallery. From there, you can share it on social media or in a text. Project collaboration lets you invite contractors from other companies to your projects so everyone can view, add, and share photos in the app. Just go to the project you're tag teaming, click add collaborators to invite another company. Heads up, you have to be a pro user to invite people to collaborate. 
pick what you want them to be able to do. Collaborators can view and share photos, add photos, and comment. Send them an invite to your project via text or email. If they already have a company cam account, they can just log in with that. If they don't, they can sign up for a free account to collaborate with you. Company cam reports were designed to help you look real professional, real quick. To create one, just select the photos you want to use it from the project. In minutes, you'll have a shareable PDF and URL to share with customers and adjusters for estimates and claims. I've created a report, new blank report, and give your report a title. You can also choose your photo page layout and create report to get started. First, add a section, then add photos from your project. You can also add photos from your camera if you are on site. Add any comments or descriptions for additional context to your photos. To edit your report, tap the three dot menu icon in the top right corner. You'll see options here to load any photo comments or descriptions that you've already added to photos pulled into your report. You can reorder your photos, move any items or remove items or delete a section. Your report will also have a cover page. So we'll tap on cover page as long as your company logo is uploaded, we'll pull that into your report. You can also change your cover photo from the photos already in your project. Done to save any changes after you've adjusted any of the cover page details in your report. To change any settings on your report, tap the three dot menu icon in the top right corner and tap report settings. From here, you can change the title of your report, add a subtitle, you can also change the page layout, and then you have some photo details that you can toggle on and off as well to really customize the report to the information that you want to share. With your sections, you can also move them around if you need to. Tap that three dot menu icon again and reorder sections. Just tap to hold one section and rearrange it in the order that you would like. Make sure to hit save to save those changes. To share your report, you can download that PDF or share it as a link. Tap view report to open the report on your phone. This will give you a good preview of what that report will look like when you send it out. Tap share report to share a link or download PDF to download the report to your device. Want to find a report you just created? Tap the project and tap the report sections to view that report. Showing off the work you do on your website is a great way to attract new customers and showcases makes it effortless. Select the project you want to display and click showcase this project in the upper right hand corner. Fill out your required fields like project title and type. Tap create and once you have the showcase created, you can install the showcase widget on your site and watch the new leads flood in. Schedule a 15 minute call with your CSM to get started. That's it for now. Visit our Help Center to see step-by-step -step instructions for other features like document scanning and project labels. Or if you liked this format, check out our how-to videos page for more walkthroughs. Thanks for watching.